Greetings, everybody. Somewhere in my mad schedule, I'll catch up, you know? <clears throat> now, we are uh, printing baseball team images. We've got about 10 of these sheets to print. We're suiting up an entire team, and I'll explain the easiest way to ship and get these out for fast production, and you can just see the quality of Kodak inks. Forget about it, you know? Forget about it. Great quality prints with Kodak ink. And, um, you know, we'll just keep turning it out. I, I got 10 of these sheets to print. We're now done with, what, 50 of these sheets? Um, got quite a few of these little things to print right here. And, dude, just keeping it working, you know, and, and that's the efficiency of having a dryer, your printer, and your RIP software. It does it all for you. So, <coughs> are your chips resettable? Yes, they are by using a chip resetter. So, they, they are a necessary evil in this business. And that's why you can't buy something like an Epson P6000 in the United States. Because after five cartridge refills, right, I think it's 70 milliliters, the printer wants you to reset the cartridges. And the American P6000s lock you back to OEM ink. So do not buy an Epson P6000 United States model because you will be locked out. No matter what anybody tells you, they are not unlocked in the United States of America. You have to buy your printer in Europe, China, um, Nigeria, parts of Africa, if you can find them. And, you know, there are companies that are selling Epson P6000s U.S. made that are going to get their asses sued because somebody's going to spend all this money to get the printer and the next thing you know, they can't unlock them. So, be warned that the American, the Canadian, the South America units are not unlockable. You cannot reset them after five refills. But what do I know? I'm the idiot that tried it two years ago. It's like the P800, you know, it took, what, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. It took seven years for somebody to unlock that unit to where we could finally use it without reverting back to Epson OEMEs. I'm gonna have to head out of here. Uh, yes, I, I have some uh, Asian P6000s in the market. They're $15,000. And right now, we're just uh, printing baseball teams, you know? And so if you think about it, if you're printing transfers or you're printing for a team and you're charging them 15 to 20 bucks a shirt, 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, 90. Think about that. $90 in eight minutes. How do you even wrap your mind around it? perfect opportunity for somebody to get one of these printers and support their own business, create their own transfers, perfect add-on to your company. So we're going to see if I can do something. Can I switch to my earphones? That'd be kind of cool. Oh, I'm at zero percent, so I can't. God, oh, really? Let me go charge these. I'll be right back. So I'm going to have to uh, get to the post office soon here. i got to leave at 5.30. So I've got about 15 minutes. And don't worry, I'll be back through the night. i got to print about 40 transfers. 
Um, those are A4, 40 A4 transfers in the shop. You know, it's part of the hustle, right? You can't make that money unless you're willing to put in the hard work, you know? And of course, believe it or not, I don't own the company. I don't earn a profit at this. I don't take a single dollar from this. Hard for people to believe, right? And the reason that I don't is that my wife put up nearly a hundred thousand dollars for printers, and I get zero dollars until we're paid back. Um, and the reason, also, what's up, Steve-O? I'm live. Check out these baseball logos I'm printing over here. That's nice. Suiting up a baseball team. Nice. It's that, it's that speckled look in the numbers. Yeah. yeah. Money in the bank. Somebody's going to press that on their shirts and just be a happy camper, right? And these are actually a rush order that somebody sent me, so they need to be in New Jersey by Friday. Wow. Which they will be. I'll be done with these in probably two hours. It's a whole team. Um, and different prints. So that's what you think about when you... Smaller? Uh, just a little bit smaller. Some are smaller, bit. some are larger. Some are different colors. You know, and um, that's the wonderful thing about... DTF printing is that you can print anything non-stop. And right. I'm also live, I mean, like, so I'm live that way so they don't see me, you know. Um, Steve-O helps me run everything here. Without Steve-O, what would we do, right? <laughs> He's like, don't call me Steve-O. This is awesome. I think so, dude. It's, it's, this is insane. It just, if somebody were here to run it non-stop, we could go to sleep, come in in the morning, Oh, summertime, I'd have my kids here. Dude, my, you know, my 13-year-old, he, you know, hey guys, are your children like mine? My 13-year-old's like, Dad, I'm not gonna go do this. This is a hobby. <laughs> you know, I'm like, well, great money for a hobby. Oh, totally. Because uh, what, what have we got all there, right? It's 18 insane. times 50 sheets there. You know, these are each sheet right here is 23 dollars. Yeah. Um, there are 10 of them, so just today, dude, that's over 1100 bucks. That's insane. You guys hear that? You've watched me print over $1,100 worth of profit, and you think I've lost my mind. Well, we know you lost your mind. Yeah, totally. Because <laughs> I, I want to do this. I want to smell all the fumes and stuff, you know? It's too bad I can't smoke cannabis. You had a, uh, electric thing. Yeah, I do. I, I just sleep to the yard. Huh? It's, it's a, it's no, a, no, I go out to the yard. And I, I, have an I do in there, but there's a different effect. It's like, it's like telling somebody who smokes cigarettes. Yeah, yeah, right. So it's it's a different. Oh, oh, because it's a different feel. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so guys, this is interesting. Powdering a 24 by 36 inch transfer is quite a daunting task. You've got to roll it around. But I've got to bail out of here to get these off to the post office ASAP. And hopefully make it back. So at 6 o'clock, I mean, I'm pulling it all night. And that's where my wives are going to get this off here. Because they're like, usually in the day, yeah. I've got the baby until 3 o'clock. Oh, okay. That's why I don't ever come in until the day. Oh. Kelly's like, dude, I got you covered. But, yeah, dude, you know, it's, it's... Hey, guys, I, I'm going to come back in just a little bit, okay? Thanks for watching, everybody. Let me see the comments. Corey, I hope I answered your question. You can send me an email, info at liveeventprinting.com.